Everyone says you need After Effects to make these insane viral 3D edits, but that's not true. In this video, I'm walking you through the entire process, step by step, on how you can recreate this video intro I made. Retention is everything, and when it comes to editing gaming videos, there's just no room for mercy. I introduce the iPad Kids. With their attention spans shrinking by the second, these little drug addicts aren't just watching, they're demanding constant stimulation, and if you don't deliver, they're gone before you can finish your intro. Now, I've covered captions in other tutorials, but these captions need to be so so good they make people freeze in a hypnotic state. So basically how you do this is you bring all your assets in at once. You design the image to look how you want it to be and then we convert them all to 3D objects. I have another piece of paper I got from Canva. I'll drag that in. I'll kind of resize it a little bit. Bring this in the corner and I'll drag in a drop shadow. I'm also going to put a blur on this one as well. Next I'm going to bring in my third piece of paper which is this one and then this one is also going to get a drop shadow and a blur. So I found this image of a brain on Motion Ray. However, I don't like how there's a black background and I don't like the colors. So if we go to our composite mode and I switch it to difference, it gets rid of the black background and changes the color. So now I can zoom this in here. Perfect. So now we need to add in the words. So we're going to go to effects, titles, text plus clip, and drag that on. And we can go to a font. I'm gonna go with the Apple font. We're gonna switch this to medium italic and change the color to a gray. Then we're gonna drag in a second text plus node, black italic. And then we're gonna go in all caps and write every. Go to shading and select gradient, orange and I think red. Now we have all the assets in our scene. Now we're going to animate the individual pieces before we turn everything into a 3D environment. So we're going to animate the text writing out and we're going to rotate these letters in. So we're going to come to title, right arm, click the keyframe, go to the start of the clip and then drag right arm back. So as you can see, it writes out like that. Right when it's fully written out, we're going to bring the second piece of writing in so it looks like this. And we're going to actually animate these letters rotating. So go to transform and then go to rotation, rotate in like this. So at the starting position, at the first frame of your clip, you're going to set it so they're almost invisible. You're gonna keyframe it and go over a couple frames, maybe right there, and then you're gonna set this back to zero. Now to smooth this out, you can go to the fusion tab and click the spline, click this one. We can drag a box over these two and press S and we'll smooth out the animation. Another thing I'm gonna do is drag this white thing so you can't see it and then it kind of fades in. So now we have something that looks like this. Perfect. So now that we have our scene built out and applied all the effects we want to apply, we can take all this and change it to a 3D environment. So to do that, you're simply just going to select everything, right click, click new fusion clip. Now we can go to the fusion tab and we can delete all these merge nodes and the background node. So these represent each layer. And so now to make things 3D, we have to build out what I'm about to show you. It'll look complex, but you can just screenshot it and it's the same for every single time. Press shift space, and search for the image plane 3D, add that in, click away, shift space, enter. Shift space, enter. Click away, shift space, enter until you have six. So now we're gonna line these up, image plane one, image plane two, five, and six. Now we're going to drag in a merge node 3D, make sure it's the 3D one, add that in, and then a render 3D, add that in. Last one is a camera 3D, add that in. So now you're just gonna simply connect all of these like that, and then you're gonna connect all the image plane to the merge, just like this. And you're gonna connect the merge to the render and the render to the media out and the camera connects to the image planes. Okay, now you can go ahead and take a screenshot of this because once you memorize this, you can turn anything into 3D. So we're gonna select this little white dot on the merge node. So this is our 3D environment and this is what the final product's gonna look like. So if we select our camera and drag it out, and so to fix this to be clear again, you actually can't just set the composite mode because it works different in a 3D environment. So what we're gonna do is add in a Luma keyer. Hold shift and bring it in. And as you can see, it got rid of the background. Now we can actually come to the image plane 
and we can go to blend mode, software, and difference. And now we have our original looking green. We're gonna select our first image plane, go to transform and scale. As you can see, we're scaling the background up. We can select our second image plane, which is our media in two, and we can scale that up as well. And then we can select this little blue thing and drag it out. So as you can see, I can, I've dragged it out. So when I zoom my camera in and out, it looks 3D. We're gonna take our third image plane and transform, scale it up. Now we can take our brain and we can bring this out. I'm gonna have it start pretty small because I'm actually gonna uh, zoom in and it's gonna end about right here. So I'll just go back out. I'll bring my text out now by selecting image plane five, dragging that to go right there. And then my final image plane six, I'm also gonna drag that out. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the first frame right here of, the, of this. And so now make sure your camera is selected and we can animate it now. So go to transform. Here's all your controls for moving the camera. So like Z will rotate it so you can animate it like twisting in, but we're not gonna do that for this one. We're just gonna simply do the zoom. So we're gonna keyframe the zoom. I'm gonna go to about right here. And so now where we move the camera is where it's going to end, about there. So now we can go to our spline, select the camera, and then hit this little box. And then again, we can hold this like this and press S. So that's everything for our first animation. We can go back to our edit. So this part was actually pretty simple to make. All you gotta do is duplicate your clip, go to the Fusion tab, Shift Space, Magic, Mask, draw over your subject, click Better, and track forward. Then we can simply drag in some fire and put that behind, and then we can size it up like this and then you can add in some text you can simply write ipad kids now one effect i did do to this to make it look like it was kind of melting in the fire is i go to effects open effects and search for fast noise drag that on preset to water surface and drag up the scale and contrast it down and as you can see it makes the text look like it's kind of in heat